Um, so this tutorial is going to be quite different. Um, I'm just going to demo the map right away. And then after I'll just explain what I've done. Um, I spent far too long on this to actually do it in a tutorial while I'm doing the tutorial. So um, this tutorial is going to have to be like this. So first off, you can see I have my custom interface here, default attack. I have some ability buttons, but I'm unused right now. Um, HP, Let's see my uh, experience bar. I have an inventory, abilities to learn, and quests, which I have one quest. And the game's very laggy right now, but should be okay for a YouTube video. And I can zoom in and do my WASD movement that I had from uh, my last tutorial. It's a little bit refined now, a little bit smoother, quicker. Um, I'm going to be providing the, a link to download this map uh, in the description of the video. So anyone's free to use whatever they want and learn from it. Um, and I came and ranged this guy now and I got this quest. Quest 1 got completed and quest 2 now is to kill 10 zerglings. And before I do that, I'm going to put cloak. You can see I have my other abilities that I've created. All three triggers, by the way. Um, I'm going to add it to spot 1. And then I'm going to add that to spot 2. So backstab, uh, just as double damage behind the target. So now we can see the map. Oops, uh, let me zoom in here. You can see the map. Uh, there's some zerglings, so I'm going to show a cloak. I just press 1. There's a cooldown bar. And I'm going to go behind this guy and hit two, 2. And it uh, did the damage, 90 you saw, from this. And then it did my regular 45 attack. And 9 zerglings left. And uh, so it's pretty much functioning WoW type map. Um, items are, I haven't really completed items. There's an inventory, but, and you can pick up items and drop them, but it's not, uh, it's not as good as the actual StarCraft II system or w especially even WoW. But uh, a lot of things are pretty similar to WoW in sort of how you learn abilities and then put them on your hotkey bar and quests and stuff. But um, it actually was quite limiting um, doing it through triggers I, cause, because I hit the actual StarCraft II interface. Doing the entire thing through triggers was, I think, not really, never really fully doable from the get-go, but I just kept going and ended up with this map. So it might be interesting for people to see um, how it's made and maybe look at it and see see whatever they want to use from it. But um, other than that, I wouldn't recommend doing an entire WoW map through triggers because doing all this stuff you see here is pretty frustrating. And this is where I, this is, I'm pretty much going to finish this map at this point, um, or I'm gonna, I mean, I'm pretty much done with this map at this point, so it's it, it was too much work to do this and I don't want to keep doing it, so. But it's interesting, might be interesting for people to see what, what uh, in which way I did these triggers to do all this stuff. So let's go on the editor, I'm just gonna do a quick explanation of the stuff that's uh, in this crazy map. Um, so one thing you might notice is that my trees are really large, so I had placed all my regular trees, and then I'm in the doodads palette, by the way. And then I went and selected one, and went select all special, which will only select all the trees of that type. And then I hit enter, and then I just scaled it up in the X and unchecked these, and scaled it up here so it's uh, a lot taller, so it looks better in game. And painted the texture around, placed some units for a hostile player. And uh, that's pretty much it. This part's still kind of similar to the WoW camera control tutorial that I did. Um, another thing I did here is in the map info, I set everything here, as well as the loading screen. I set that and the body. So you see this when you load. And um, data editor now. Um, for the camera, this is good to know, is that I changed the values in here so that it follows quicker. So the follow scroll limit's 100. There's no period. There's zero for follow. So now it doesn't lag behind at all. Same for deceleration. Um, everything's everything's good there, and of course zooming. I changed the zoom values a bit and added an offset here, so that it's high a height offset. I mean, so that when you zoom in, you're sort of above your unit, so he he appears down at the at the bottom of your screen like so, and instead of like instead of in the center like this, because wow sort of places your guy at the bottom, which is good to have it like that. And uh, I did a bunch of other stuff in the data editor. You can look at it. I made a you know, uh, oops, my own stuff here. I made like backstab for each level, the damage, and my actual rogue damage, or my Dark Templar, I call him a rogue now. Um, but the majority of the stuff goes on in the trigger editor, which um, I tried to document it a bit in here. 
you know, I set the levels. I do leveling experience, hotkeys, uh, camera stuff. This is setting the experience value because through triggers you can't use the the built-in one. Um, and pretty much everything has to be like this just because of this one line here, hide game UI. And so um, it was a pretty big job, but... Um, and I don't think I'd do it again, but it's interesting to see what you can do just by going nuts with triggers. So I did like a bunch of stuff here, defining stuff to variables, like all the abilities that you saw in the game were you done through triggers. Like uh, cloak, for instance. So cloak, let's see. Checks if the cooldown's false. Checks if it's on. And if it's if it's on or whatever, if it just got turned on by this, that means we want to be cloaked. So it goes to alternate image for the ability. Does all this and, you know, adds cloak to plays a sound. And this is if not, etc. Removes cloak. And then backstab, of course. A bunch of stuff to check that you're behind the unit. A bunch of math stuff that I found online. Um, that I have some knowledge of myself, and then and then uh, checks that you're within range and that the cooldown's not on, and then it'll create the effect. Uh, where is it? Create hero abilities, backstab, hero level minus one, so it'll do the right level. Um, and let's see. Backstab level two, of course. Hotkey reaction, so when you press one, it'll run main bar triggers. So main bar is your ability bar. As you can see in my global variable here, I have main bar. XP bar, items bar, quest window, ability window. A um, lot of stuff here. Hard to explain in one tutorial and impossible to do in an actual video tutorial. Uh, but I hope people can take the map and learn from it, uh, hopefully. And quest stuff. Um, monster loot. So I just, every time a unit dies, I just do a random integer between 1 and 1,000. And then, you know, if, if a unit dying is Roach and less than 600, so a 60% chance, um, it will make Roach Venom that the unit the item I mean that uh, roaches can drop and that's the only one I have in the game and like I said the inventory system is kind of borked the only the only real good things about the system I made is that you can use WASD movement you can do ability um, abilities onto your bar and kind of stuff like that but the looting and I haven't even made any stores or any ways to sell items that's, that's completely like out of my league right now and I don't I like I said I don't think I'll be continuing this and what else? You have regular movement stuff. Jump. I had a jump now. You're welcome to copy that. It's okay. It's not a great jump. Um, and of course, under cam right start, I changed it to also be your default. To, well, I think it was already that, but I added um, to acquire items now. So when you right click, if there's an item there, it'll get it. And if there's a unit there, it'll attack it. And if neither, then it'll just turn it on to your camera moving mode. And uh, also on left, mo left click, uh, it checks if there's a unit there so you can do a boss bar for your target unit and decloaking of course if when you attack you want to turn off the cloaking so I just made these triggers to check that the rogue was in combat and then turn off his cloak and of course experience and leveling you know modify the experience display it set the dialogue uh, progress bar for your experience to be proper um, so it's like 4 out of 60 if you're just killed a circling or something uh, and then of course leveling stuff here and game over trigger that's pretty simple uh, so the majority of this uh, triggers is to handle the doing the uh, uh, like abilities and bar related stuff it's a big mess but you know you just work on something little by little and slowly build it up and then you end up with a mess like this <laughs> and uh, you know this one took a while so when you click uh, from your your learning abilities window if you click, I want to put uh, cloak on sp spot four. This trigger will take care of that. And uh, I don't know. It was kind of fun to do, but I don't think I'd do this again. And uh, well, I hope this tutorial at least helps explain the insane trigger map that this was. And uh, maybe it will be useful for people. Uh, but anyways, that's what I've been working on. And uh, I hope it was a good tutorial. Thanks for watching.